Yo, welcome Flyfers. So today we want to showcase the last four second job changes that we didn't fit into the part one because it would have expanded the video to be too long. And in this video, we will showcase the second job change of Knight, Ringmaster, Elementor and Psychkeeper. But before we jump right into the video, I noticed that only 20% of my, of my viewers are subscribed to the channel. So if you haven't done a subscription, make sure to watch this video all the way to the end. And if you find it helpful, I think I earned your subscription by then. So let's get right started. We are starting with the knight. To actually become a knight, you need to be a mercenary first. If you are not a mercenary yet, make sure to watch the first job change guide. You start out this quest by using a blink wing all the way to darken. And then on the top right here, you will find the Nightmaster Karandur that is starting sending you out on your journey. You will first need to kill Triller all the way in Darken 1, just above the um, Lodestar and the Steamwalkers. After this, you do need to return it and the quest, and then you have a short way. As you can see right here, you will just go in Darken City, go to the south, and then in the way, that is leading to the clockworks cage, you will find the Kittler and kill this fairly easy. Then you will get sent off to Flares and right next to the mass dungeon, all the way to the north of Flares, you will find the Night Wise Man Hormes sitting at the lake right here. This guy will send you on a um, on a journey to actually kill uh, to actually find Kurman and Kurman is located in Flaris, right above this little wheel right here. Then there's a little mix up here. This will send you to kill Wilhelm first and Wilhelm are in the Garden of Rises. And to go to the Garden of Rises, you will use a blink wing to send morning, then fly with your flying device all the way to the northeast of the continent, you will enter the Garden of Rises and then all the way to the northeast on this little um, spot right here, you will find the best William spot. Once the Williams are killed, you do start off with the Night Priest Lobiet that you can find fairly easy if you're going to Darkon 3. You will see all those kind of labors right here and um, then there will be a um, Luya and Kern and one you see those two little bridges and this tooth wheel here and this if you connect this on the same height there will be the priest city then next up this priest will send you to kill the venal guardian this guy is a bit hard to defend all by yourself so it is good if you're bringing a ringmaster for heap up and heal with you you will find this guy just above, all the way down in Dark and Free, just above the Clafen spawn. Then to actually finish your journey, you will go more south in Dark and Free, all the way south to find this grass right here, and then you can turn in your quest to be a knight for the Bone Pepper. Then, once we are finished with the knight, now let's take a look at the Ringmaster. To, st to start your journey as a ringmaster, you actually need to be an assist before. So if you're not an assist yet, make sure to watch the first job change guide on the channel. To start your journey, you do want to use a blink wing of Darken and once you're in the city, all the way to the top right here, you will find the ringmaster Elland. She will then send you off to kill some thrillers that are located in Darken Run just above the Lodestar or the Steamwalkers. Once you finish this, you do want to return your quest and you're then getting sent off for another kill quest. And this time you need to kill Roy. And as you see right here, this is in Sand Morning, just right above the Evilist dungeon, right on this corridor. And this mountain that is located right here is a no-fly zone. So the best to reach it is actually go to the color change from this um, path to the desert and then jump up on those mountains right there. 
once you have the kill confirmed, you get sent to Flares. And right next to the Mars Dungeon, there is a little lake all the way in the north of Flares. And there you will be able to talk to Ringmaster Wiseman Climb. He will then send you off to a, um, to a search quest that is also located in Flares, especially all the way in East Flares, right next to the food character where you will find Tasher. Tasher will send you on another kill quest where you do this time have to kill the X-Hunter and the X-Hunter you can find on the Transformer spawn all the way in Darkon 1. So right next to the Steamworkers, if you're going up to the east side, you will find this guy sitting at the Transformer spawn right here. And once you have those completed, you do need to find the Ringmaster Priest Hedon. This is in Darkon 3 when you are in the city and you're flying all the way to the west outside of the city through the caves and then you're starting to find um, like this huge labyrinth of green stuff where do you all the hoppers are and there you will find this little spiral right here and the priest is sitting in the middle of it then next up you do need to kill the venal guardian um, this is since you're a ringmaster depending on your build this is a bit of a challenge to do it by yourself, so maybe you can bring another Ringmaster friend to give you some heal assistance for it. And once you have this finished, the, oh, this guy is actually sitting all the way in Darkon 3, right above the Clafons. And once you have this finished, you will go from this spawn a bit more to the south, all the way to the south of Darkon 3. And then on this big cross right here, you will be able to turn in your crest at the Ringmaster Guardian Romret. Now let's go with the mages right here. So we are looking at the Elementor and to actually become an Elementor you need to be a Magician first. If you're not a Magician yet, make sure to watch the first job change guide. To start your journey you do want to use a Blinkwing to darken and then talk to Elementor Master Horizon all the way up here. She will then send you off to Darken 1 to kill the Triller. Trillers are located um, right above the Lodestar and the Steamwalkers. Then you do need to return your quest and you are then getting sent off all the way to um, find the Feather of Magic Power. And this Feather is located in Darkon 3. And the best way to find it is actually to look for this intersection right here. This is the easiest way to find it on your map. Then once you find this, you will go to the Elemental Wise Man that is located right next to the mass dungeon at a little lake all the way in the north of Flaris. This guy will send you for another search quest and this time you need to find Perrin right here. Perrin is located in Sand Morning and when you are in the base of the city using your blink ring for example, you will go all the way north, climb up those stairs and then you will find here a, let's call it a like a flying device harbor or like a station and then you can talk to her she will send you off to find another item and this time you need to find a perfume and as you can see right here this is all the way in darkon 3 and the best to get here is using a plink ring to darken flying to the west outside of the city through the caves and then at some point you will see all these the spawns of the hoppers and then make sure to look for those two tooths right here. And then in the middle of those tooths on this um, path, you will find the perfume. Then next up is the Elemental Priest Contram that you need to find. And this is fairly easy as um, if you're in Dark and Free and you're all the way to the east, you will find the Note Repeat spawn. And right here is the Boo Poison spawn. And this is just like a huge tree just, uh, just in front of the Nog Repeat spawn where you find the Elemental Priest. This guy will then send you off to kill the Venal Guardian that you can find in Darkon 3, just all the way to the south, just above the Clavens. And I do recommend um, bringing some help with you to kill this guy. So maybe a Ringmaster that can give you heap up and heal would be advised. Otherwise, it is kind of hard. 
Then once you finish the kill, you will go all the way to the south of Dark and Free. Look for this big cross right here and there you will find the Ringmaster Guardian Romred and you're able to turn in your quest. And obviously it is not the Ringmaster Guardian, it is the Elemental Guardian that is a typo by myself. Sorry about this. Then the final job change that we need to cover is the Psy Keeper. For this you also need to be a Magician. If you are not a Magician yet, make sure to watch the first job guide of the channel. To start this quest, we do want to use a Blink Ring of Darken and then walk all the way up here to talk to Siler. Siler will then send you off to kill Triller. Those are located in Darken 1, all the way um, above the Lodestar and the Steamwalkers. Then you will do return this quest and then get sent off for another quest that is also in a kill quest and located in Darken 1. As you see right here, all the way to the bottom is the um, is the Lodestar. Here is the um, the lake of the Steamworkers. And you do have to climb on the height of this little tooth here. You have to climb this mountain. This is best doable if you're like double pressing W and using your spacebar until you're all the way on the top. Then next up, you do want to go after you have your kill confirmed, you do want to go to Flaris, all the way to the north of Flaris. On the right side of the mass dungeon, there's actually the Psyche Keeper Wise Man sitting at a lake and you can talk to this guy. Then next up, you want to find Ryupang. Ryupang is also easy to find. You are in Flaris again, so you don't have to switch and you're flying all the way to the, um, to the south now from the Wise Master. And as you're passing by, you will see this little village of Demians that you probably already know from leveling up. And right on the, this bridge, there you will find Rupang. This guy will send you off to find a, an item. And this is also easy and not a lot to go. So you're just using a Plinkwing of Darken. And then you can tell your eyes open for the Trace of Offerwrap just by walking out of the city all the way to the east into the carrier bomb spawn and there on the left side of the spawn you will already find this item. Then you do want to finish up your quest by flying out of the darkened city to the other side this time and you are flying out to the west. Through all the, um, what's it called, through all the caves then you're passing all the hoppers and then on the right side on of this area you will find this huge sea formed by the water and in the middle of the sea formed by the water you will find the Psy Keeper Priest. This guy then sends you off to kill the Venal Guardian that is located in Dark and Free just above the Clafons and you can kill this guy best if you're having support by a Ringmaster that can give you heap up and heal. After you kill this one, the last thing you have to do is going all the way to the south of Dark and Free. Look out for this cross right here and talk to Psykeeper Guardian to actually turn in your quest and become a Psykeeper. Yeah, so we are at the end of the video. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you have any more questions or you need anything explained in more detail, feel free to leave a comment. And if you like the video, make sure to thumbs up and subscribe. Cheers.